This is Japan Airlines Economy Class. And this is Japan Airlines Premium Economy Class. Now that's quite a difference, right? Considering that Japan Airlines Economy Class is arguably one of the best in the world, its premium economy cabin will have quite a hard time competing against it. Let me walk you through the best features of Japan Airlines Premium Economy, so I can tell you whether it's worth it or not. Let's begin with the arrival at the airport. Japan Airlines security and boarding staff are always polite. They give you a taste of Japanese hospitality and respect. While you wait till it's time to board, being a premium economy passenger grants you access to the Sakura Lounge. It does not come as a surprise that the Sakura Lounge is modern, comfortable, and has a fast internet speed, making it a great spot to cool off before a long haul flight. The lounge offers both Japanese and Western dishes to suit your culinary desire. You can also visit the drink stations, where you have access to both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, and extras like an espresso machine and the impressive automatic beer dispenser. It is worth noting that regular economy passengers do not have access to the Sakura Lounge. Also, passengers who just upgraded to premium economy at the airport are not granted entry to this modern lounge. Like most airlines, Japan Airlines premium economy passengers also get priority boarding. But of course, after the first and business class passengers have entered the plane. Now let's discuss the seating. You can expect a 242 or 232 seating configuration, depending on the aircraft you are flying with. The Japan Airlines premium economy seating is the real deal, with their amazingly comfortable seats. The airline is focused on giving passengers privacy. This explains why there is a center console that separates you from your neighbor. If you don't like being disturbed while traveling, Japan Airlines Premium Economy will give you a lot of privacy. The airline's premium economy seats are also one of the most spacious premium economy seats available. The distance from the back of your seat to the back of the seat in front of you is a whopping 42 inches, giving you enough space to stretch your legs without disturbing others. 42 inches of seat pitch is industry leading. You'll hardly find any other airline offering more legroom. To put this into perspective, the seating pitch on other popular carriers' premium economy class like British Airways and Virgin Atlantic is around 38 inches, which is 4 inches lower than Japan Airlines' seat pitch. In other words, you're getting top of the league seating pitch when flying with Japan Airlines' premium economy. Economy passengers do not enjoy this luxury though. The highest seat pitch you can get in Japan Airlines economy class is 34 inches, so that's a huge upgrade if you ask me. As I mentioned earlier, Japan Airlines is very particular about customer privacy. As a result, the shell style seats slide forward instead of the seats reclining backward. This way, each passenger stays in their own space and if there's a need to adjust their chair, they adjust it forward. The impressive thing about the reclining seats is that they are in a shell, which means that you won't be able to tell if the person at the front is reclining or not, as their recline doesn't intrude on your space, which is a very smart solution. To help with seat comfort when reclined, each seat is fitted with an extendable leg rest, which you can easily control using a button in the middle console. The seats also have adjustable headrests with large wings, giving you a sound sleeping posture after a stressful business meeting. Each seat is equipped with AC power outlets, USB ports, and a large tray table where you can place your food or even your laptop and prepare ahead for the meeting if you're traveling for business purposes. Now, let's talk about the amenities. When you get to your seat, you'll see a plastic bag where you'll find a pillow, blanket, headphones, slippers, and your personal amenity kit. Japan. Airlines amenity kit is basic, but still contains things that will make your journey more comfortable. In the amenity kit are items like an eye mask, earplugs, a dental kit, and a moisture mask. Unlike some airlines that give you a regular nose mask, Japan Airlines offers a moisture mask that makes the air you breathe less dry. The Sony headphones they provide do a great job of canceling noise and providing a solid sound. Japan airline attendants do not collect the headphones before landing, allowing you to enjoy the in-flight entertainment through arrival. While this might look like a small detail, these kind gestures are factors that make the premium economy worth it and your journey more memorable. It showcases the airline's commitment to passenger comfort and a truly enjoyable travel experience. Now, let's talk about storage. 
while Japan Airlines seats are comfortable and would give you some privacy, it is important to note that storing your belongings might come with a bit of hassle. The seats have a single seat back pocket that can only accommodate small belongings like wallets and maybe a laptop. If you need to store large bags, you will have to use the overhead bins which is enough to handle all premium economy bags. However, if you get stuck in the middle seat, you'll have to settle for the under seat storage area, which may not be big enough to accommodate a huge bag like the overhead bins. After settling in, the next thing on your mind is definitely food. What does the food taste like when you're flying with Japan Airlines? To start with, the airline's in-flight menu depends on your route. When it comes to the meals in Japan, airline's premium economy class, prepare to experience a blend of Japanese dishes, and of course, Western meals as well. If you have ever flown in Japan Airlines economy, you'll know that their food is one of the best in the sky. In 2023, Skytrax ranked the Tokyo-based airline the fifth best airline in the world. And if you take a closer look at the stats, you'll realize that its exceptional menu was one of the things a lot of travelers liked about it. To give you an example of what is served on board, when flying to Honolulu and Kona, you can enjoy a menu created by Namei Shinobu, grand chef at French restaurant L'Effervescence. On other routes, premium economy passengers can enjoy a menu devised by six finalists of the Japanese cooking show called Red. Although this sounds exciting, the food in Japan Airlines premium economy is just a bit better than the one served in the airline's economy flights. In my opinion, this appears to be one of the few cons of Japan Airlines premium economy. While the meal you get in their economy class is arguably one of the best you'll get in economy, you don't get much more for sitting in premium economy. Shortly after the airplane takes off, the attendants would hand out menus showing that only three items are available for passengers in the premium economy. Those three items are also available for economy passengers. In other words, both economy passengers and premium economy passengers are served almost the same thing. However, despite the similarity between economy class meals and premium economy meals, there are still some extra items that are not available to regular economy passengers. For example, champagne, Japanese shochu, and sparkling mineral water are only available for premium economy passengers. However, above all, one thing is certain about dining with Japan Airlines. You'll enjoy the meal, even if it's similar to the food of the economy class passengers. As you wrap up your first meal, ice creams are passed across the cabin. Between meals, premium economy passengers are served a snack. Then, few hours to the landing, a second meal is served. Japan Airlines premium economy meals are typically served with metal cutlery. If you prefer to eat in a traditional Japanese way, wooden chopsticks are available to suit your needs. Another subtle, interesting experience you might like is that each meal comes with instructions detailing the best ways to mix them. This will be very helpful for passengers who are just trying out any of the airline's Japanese meals for the first time. And if you have special dietary requirements or do not eat some kinds of food due to religious beliefs, rest assured that Japan Airlines has got you covered. The airline offers an extensive array of special meals that will meet your dietary meals. Beyond the meals, Japan Airlines' premium economy beverage menu is impressive. Just like most airlines, premium economy passengers have access to wine, beer, seki, plum wine, and non-alcoholic drinks like juices, coffee, tea, and soft drinks. In addition, Japan Airlines' premium economy passengers can enjoy Japanese shochu or a mini bottle of Volero champagne, which retails for about 40 bucks for a 750 milliliter bottle. Now let's talk about staying connected with the in-flight entertainment. Japan Airlines' in-flight entertainment system is delivered via a 12.1-inch touch panel with a responsive user interface. Although the screen cannot tilt as you see in other airlines, the truth is that you don't need it to. Recall that the seats are in a shell. You can drag your fingers through the screen to choose from the limited variety of movies and shows available. But if you find that inconvenient, there is also a handheld controller you can use to achieve the same purpose. Japan Airlines' in-flight entertainment system offers a number of Japanese and international movies, music, ebooks, and games, complemented with Sony noise-canceling headphones I mentioned earlier. Japan Airlines' Wi-Fi service is powered by T-Mobile, the third largest wireless carrier in the United States. 
Wi-Fi service is available on all international Japan Airlines flights for a fee, with plans ranging from $10 for one hour to $20 for the whole duration of the flight. Another essential feature worth mentioning is service. The Japanese culture is known for its hospitality and respect. When you fly with a Japanese airline, like Japan Airlines, be sure to experience one of the most excellent and hospitable crews in action. The Japan Airlines cabin crew are outstanding. It's no surprise why they are one of the best in the world. Even though the attendants don't walk around the cabin to offer refills or check on passengers, they are available at the touch of a button. If you press the call button, a flight attendant will appear at your seat in less than one minute, giving passengers the privacy to rest during long-haul flights and at the same time available to meet the needs of their passengers. They are also happy to assist you with your luggage during boarding and are swift to help out when you request a drink or snack mid-flight. Japan Airlines also offers some extras like over-the-counter medicine. While some airlines may be reluctant to hand over medicines, Japan Airlines will provide travelers with items like analgesics, rhinitis relief spray, abrasion healing spray, bandages, and motion sickness medicine if you need them. Now that we've discussed the luxuries that come with this upgrade, it's high time we discussed an important factor, the price. The prices of fares in Japan Airlines' premium economy depend on the route as well as travel dates, but usually the cost of Japan Airlines' premium economy can be almost twice that of their basic economy class. So that brings us to the big question. Is Japan Airlines premium economy worth the upgrade from the airline's basic economy class? Well, it's probably a boring answer, but it really depends on the value you place on your own comfort. Let me explain. Japan Airlines premium economy is considered one of the best premium economy products in the world. All thanks to the airline's industry-leading seats, Sakura Lounge, amenities, dedicated airport check-in, and Japanese hospitality. But here's the thing. Japan Airlines' premium economy is excellent, but the airline arguably also has the best basic economy class in the world. So, some features that should have been restricted to the premium economy are being enjoyed by economy passengers as well. As a result, its premium economy, although great, is not much of a step up compared to the economy class since it already includes so much. The major upgrades are the 42-inch seat pitch and access to the Sakura Lounge, so if you are not convinced by these upgrades, it's best you save up for the airline's business class or remain in its economy class. Also, you can upgrade to the premium economy at the airport if you realize that the economy class looks full or if you're stuck in the aisle seat. An upgrade to premium economy on flights out of Los Angeles to Tokyo or Osaka costs about 350 US dollars. We encourage you to do your research before traveling. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time.